No cigar. I pictured you chomping a fat cigar. Doctor told me to cut back. Esther, Charlie, this is Jess. He's Luke Dane's nephew. Hello. I remember you, punk. Good to see you again, Esther. You too? What's it been, four years? Maybe more. When did you get in? Just now. I'm meeting Luke. We've got mom maintenance to do. You hear she and TJ accidentally joined some cult? And that vegetables were involved? And an eight million year contract. I heard it was six. Well, as editor of the Gazette, you've got better sources than me, Mr. Roundbottom. What? Oh. Can't wait to hear how you bagged the job. It was the usual thing. I submitted my resume, plus samples of my work. I was thoroughly vetted. There were several lengthy interviews, plus complex negotiations over salary, benefits, parking. You asked Taylor. Pretty much. I don't want him to see me like this. Good to see you. You too. How about some lunch? Sure. Barry Lou Grant. Last time I checked, Grain was a food group. Bottoms up. Round bottoms up. So, how are you? Luke tells me that the book press is going great. It's doing OK. So you've got Dave Eggers shaking in his boots? <laughs> if Dave Eggers even knows we exist, I'd be happy. And in other stuff, personal life? Stable, nothing permanent. What about you? Oh, damn. <sighs> Did you just write Break Up With P? How about a second course? <laughs> Esther, would you get that? I'm filing something. I don't want to say you've been filing that same piece of paper for a long time, but when you started, Nora Ephron felt good about her neck. Do you still want me to get it? No. I could have been a contender. You're still a contender. Oh, yeah. I'm broke, busted, beggared. I have no apartment, no car. Hell, my license expired three months ago. Get out of here. Everything I own is in boxes scattered around three different states. I have no job. I have no credit. I have no underwear. What? I can't find that box. So just buy some new ones. Are you listening, man? I'm broke. I'll lend you the money. This isn't about you lending me money to buy underwear. This is about my life. People come up and smell me. And what are they smelling? Failure. Headmaster Charleston told me to go get my master's so that I can come back and teach at Chilton. He could smell it. I went and interviewed at a website that I hate. They pass. They can smell it. No one's smelling anything. Maybe Paris will let me be one of her surrogates. She's always liked my teeth. Slow down. It's probably too late for that. I've aged out. Stop. This is a rut. It's temporary. Or not. You're a writer. Ruts are normal. My friend Doyle's a Hollywood writer now. He's always telling me to write a spec script. You're not writing a spec script. He gave me a copy of The Mysteries of Laura. Is that a show? You need to find something to write that you're passionate about. What is that foreign concept you speak of, passion? Is that really a thing? You just got to find that thing that makes you feel so that your readers feel it. What makes you feel? Did I tell you I lost my wallet? You should write a book. Ugh, thanks for the Naomi Shropshire flashbacks. Lovely. And I know what you should write. What? You should write about you and your mom. What? It's a cool story. It's got a point of view, and it's something only you can write. Think about it. I gotta go. Thanks for lunch. <laughs>